Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are doing my teeny tiny January book haul. So I have 11 books to share with you guys today. This is my smallest book haul. I think possibly in two years. I haven't looked back to see exactly how many books that I had in every haul, but I'm pretty sure this is the smallest one that I've had since I've started booktube, so I'm so excited. Now, before you get too proud of me, I am pre-filming two other haul videos today, but they've been in the works for quite a while, so it's not things that I've recently hauled. I'm pre-filming a YA swap and trade haul video, which just means books that I have traded either with friends or with a young adult um, swap group. So I've traded books that I own for other books and it's taken me a long time to get enough to film a video. So I finally have enough to do that, so that's coming out soon. And then I am doing a pretty classics haul video. So I have found, been gifted, and ordered basically pretty classics. And I decided to do these separate from my main book hauls just because I was finding more at my local library bookstores than I normally do. So I have 10 of those finally and I've been slowly collecting over the past few months. So I'll be doing that video today as well. Both those videos will be coming out towards the end of January or in the beginning of February. So just stay tuned for more hauls. So now to get into the haul. Like I said, I have 11 books to share with you guys. Two of these books I went in special ordered off of eBay. That's I just don't normally order books off the internet, so that was like a bigger deal for me. And I have read both of those books, so the amount I'm adding to my TBR is actually only nine books, which is really exciting. So we are just going to get started. One of my goals for 2019 was to purchase a couple books in advance that are a little bit more expensive to add to my collection to kind of eat into my book budget. So that means that these are books that I went and found on the internet because normally I do all of my book buying through used bookstores and library bookstores and Goodwills and things like that. So first I got off of eBay, I got My True Love Gave to Me, edited by Stephanie Perkins with stories from Holly Black, Ali Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Levithan, and so forth. I read this over the holiday season and absolutely loved it. It's one I want to like reread every year now or at least like certain stories in here. Plus it's just stinking adorable and I just can't find it at my local bookstores. I found like the summer version of this one which I'm excited to read this summer but I haven't been able to find this one. It was only four dollars so I got it. Then I purchased Miracle on 34th Street by Valentine Davies paintings by Tommy De Paola. This one I also read this December and absolutely loved it. This is was written the same time as the script for Miracle on 34th Street, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, and the art in here is so beautiful. This book was a little bit harder to find online, and I managed to find one again for like $4, and I just wanted to scoop it up before I wasn't able to get it anymore, because I just feel like this is one I'm not going to find at the local bookstores, and I'm just going to add this to my Christmas collection. Okay, so the rest of these books I found at all my library used bookstores. This one technically should have been in last month's haul, but I forgot to share it because I used it for a TBR video and then I just didn't remember. But this is Green Glass House by Kate Milford. I think this is a middle grade story and I think it's a series as well. But this is about our lead character Milo who goes to stay, I think, with his uncle in an inn. He wants to just relax over the holiday season and mysterious guests keep ringing the doorbell and arriving and I think there's like a mystery that happens and just kind of adventure -y. So it also has these like amazing winter vibes. I wanted to get to this in January. I don't think I'm going to be able to but we're just going to have to see. So this is kind of a random one. This is The 13th Child by Patricia C. Red or Reed. This, see this dragon on the cover? That was what did it. Tamara Pierce has a little blurb on the back of here but it says F was born a 13th child. Her twin brother Lon is the seventh son of a seventh son. This means he's supposed to possess amazing talent and she's supposed to bring doom to everyone around her. That was enough for me. Um, this one might be middle grade as well, I'm not sure, but it just sounded really adventurous and awesome, so yeah. Next I picked up The Shadow Throne by Jennifer A. Nielsen. This is from the Ascendance Trilogy, which I think is the False Prince series. I'm not sure. I started it last year and didn't finish the book, but I was enjoying it, and so I want to carry on, and these covers are amazing. And I found The Eternity Cure by Julie Kagagwa. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This is Julie Kagagwa's dystopian series, and she's getting a lot of buzz right now because of Shadow of the Fox, and so I feel like these books are going to be coming up in the booktube world because of the buzz 
she's getting and I like dystopian books a lot so I found this one for a dollar. And then I repurchased Dark Life by Kate Falls. I picked up this when I first started booktube and then I wound up unhauling it. So this is kind of dystopian, I think, slash possibly mermaidy, which is why I keep wanting to read it. I tried it on audiobook and I really didn't like the narrator, so I do want to physically read this, but it says, Earthquakes have shattered the continents, toppling entire regions with the rising water, and now humans live packed in stacked cities. The only ones with any space of their own are those who live on the ocean floor, the dark life. Oh, this is about people that live under the water, which is kind of similar to Atlantia, which is one of my favorite books, and even if it's not mermaidy, I think I'll still like it because I just, I like books about the ocean. Then I picked up My Name is Memory by Anne Brashares. Anne Brashares is one of my favorite writers. I love her Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series so, so much, even though the technical fifth book really made me upset, but that's okay. It's technically kind of a fantasy, fantasy book? Contemporary? Magical? Contemporary book? I'm not really sure, but basically there is a lead girl in here and she meets a mysterious boy and he has the ability to recall all of his past lives, and so I think it's kind of a they keep falling in love kind of a thing, and he remembers every time but she doesn't. Something like that. I really like those kinds of stories, so, and I like Amber Shares, and this cover, again, is awesome. Then I picked up Carve the Mark by Veronica Ross because I'm a silly goose. <laughs> I have the Fates Divide. And I saw this at the library bookstore and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I just, I have a problem sometimes where I want to buy popular books like more than once to give to other people before I've read them. Who knows? I saw this and I was like, man, I wish I didn't have so many TBR books. I would get this for somebody and read it before I gave it to them. But then I remembered when I got home that I didn't have it because I didn't check my app first, which I need to check my app to see what I have. And I had The Fates Divide. So I picked this one up, so now I have the first book. This is the first book from Veronica Roth, who is the author of Divergent. And this is her newer series about set in space, so I really liked her writing style in specifically Divergent, so I'm excited to kind of give her another chance, and I really like sci-fi apparently. So now I have both books. And lastly, this was so exciting because there's one library bookstore near me and I think there's somebody that like reviews books or gets books or maybe they just read them and immediately donate them because I keep finding new releases there or like books that are less than a year old, which doesn't usually happen for me, and I found this one and I like freaked out. So I found Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, which came out last year and I am so excited. I don't have Strange to Dreamer yet, but I can get it from the library because this is going to be high up on my priority for 2019 and it's so amazingly beautiful and it looks like it's never even been read. So maybe somebody got it for Christmas and sadly donated it, but I just want to thank the book fairies for, oh my gosh, look at that. I just want to thank the Magical Book Fairies for giving this one to me because this is one I was just like super, super jazzed about. <laughs> okay, you guys, that is it for my small book haul. Look how fast this video went. I did make a promise and one of my goals for 2019 was to unhaul a book for every three books I add to my TBR. So technically I only added nine books to my TBR because two of them I've already read. So I am going to be unhauling three books today. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have a box and I'm going to pick books that I want to unhaul and put them in that box and then I will do a winter unhaul slash detox and then a spring and a summer and a fall of those books that I unhauled from hauling books, if that makes sense. You won't be seeing those unhaul books today because I want to do a separate video on it, which I think you'll enjoy more anyway. Keep in mind with the next two haul videos, almost all the books I've had for a while, like before 2019, so I'm not going to be unhauling books um, for those books that I got because they, I got all of them last year just in case you're like nitpicking my goals videos. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're excited about any of the books that I found or anything that you have found recently, if you found any great deals or if you've hauled a bunch of books that you're really excited about. I post videos every Monday and Wednesday and sometimes on the weekends, and I'll see you guys next time on The Bright Side. Bye!